Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this cute little tote bag. It's got pockets on the inside and it's really an easy and quick bag to make. So let's get started. You'll need the following supplies. For the bottom of the bag, you will need one third yard. You'll need cut redo. You'll need the following supplies. You'll need one third yard for the bottom of the bag. Cut two pieces 11 inches by 16 inches and then for the flap cut two pieces 3 inches by 4 and a half inches. The top band and straps you'll need one third yard. Four pieces 2 and a half inches by 23 inches. Four pieces 13 inches by 4 inches. The lining, you'll need one third yard. Cut two pieces 11 inches by 16 inches, two five and a half inches by nine and a half inches. Your fusible iron on interfacing, two thirds yard. Top band, cut two four inch by 13 inch. The bottom, cut two 11 inch by 16 inch. The flap, cut one three inch by four and a half inch. Pocket, Cut one five and a half inch by nine and a half inch. You'll also need 24 inches of half inch piping and then about two inches of Velcro. On your bottom fabrics, go ahead and put the fusible interfacing on it. Follow the package instructions for fusing it on. Then I recommend, after you're done that, doing a basting stitch, machine based, around the edges because sometimes when you're working with the fusible interfacing, it has a tendency to separate. So do that on both lower bottom bag pieces. Then on the very bottom, two corners of the bag, you're going to take something round and you draw a line around each corner. Then up here at the top you're going to put a mark one half inch in from the side and then do the same thing over here one and a half inches from the side. Then go ahead and trim the lower corners off place a ruler where this top mark is and then you're going to place the other end of the ruler right here where the curve begins. So line it up. Take your Always take your time lining things up and then you're going to trim this edge off and go over and do the same thing on this side. Place it on the mark and where that curve begins and trim the other side off. You're going to do this on both pieces for the bottom of the bag and also do it on your lining pieces. Bring your pocket fabric front sides together and you're going to stitch just a quarter of an inch all the way around except leave a small opening right in here so that you can turn this front side out. And you can put your fusible interfacing on one side of this if you want. It is an option. Then go ahead and trim your corners. After you finish trimming your corners, then turn this front side out. After turning it front side out, then fold these edges in a quarter of an inch and stitch it closed. Then center your pocket on one side of the bag. And you can also make pockets for the other side if you want to. Then go ahead and place pins to hold it. Then after pinning, you're going to stitch on three sides and stitch back and forth here and here. Now you can leave it as one large pocket if you want or if you want to divide it up into two then stitch right down through the center. Bring the bottom two pieces of fabric front sides together and stitch a half inch seam around the lower bottom edge and sides. Do the same thing on the lining and then afterwards Go ahead and do some little clips along this curve 
so that when you turn it front side out, it lays really nice. Turn the bag front side out and reach inside and smooth the two lower corners out. Then take your lining fabric and insert it inside of the bag. Then pin the two pieces together and make sure you open your seams in there and match up the seams first. Then do a machine basting stitch up around the top edge to hold it together while you put the band on. Put the inner facing on the back side of just one piece for the flap closure. Then go ahead and bring the two pieces together, front sides. Place pins to hold. Then in just two of the corners, put something round down there and trace around it. Then cut this off. Then stitch a quarter of an inch all the way around and then using just small scissors, do little snips, clips around the curved edges. Then turn this front side out. Smooth out the edges down there. You might have to stick something in there to poke at it to smooth it out. Then give it a good pressing so that it's nice and flat. Then stitching on top one eighth of an inch from the edge all the way around. Take two of your pieces for the top band and on the back side put your fusible interfacing on it. Then bring front sides together and stitch a half inch seam here and here. Then take your remaining two pieces for the top band and also stitch them together a half inch here and here. Press your seams open on both sides, on both pieces that you're bringing together. So these are also pressed open on the inside. Match your seams up. You're bringing front sides together of the two band strips. Then on just one side, you're going to take the flap and insert it between the two layers here okay and bring it all the way up to the seam then stitch all the way around the top edge of this band one half inch and stitch across where the flap closure is I would stitch across that several times now turn it front side out to where your flap is sticking out like this and then fold your edges over really nice up here at the top and I would press this first before stitching, so give it a good pressing, make sure it's nice and even up here. And then top stitch one eighth of an inch from that top edge all the way around and try and use matching thread. Slip the band over the top edge of the bag and fold one layer back of the band so that it is out of your way. Then pin the bag to the band up at the top. Make sure you match your side seams. So place pins all around and then stitch one half inch seam from that top edge all the way around. Reach inside of the bag and turn it front or excuse me back side out to where the lining is out. You're on the inside of the bag and we're going to fold the other half of the band under on this bottom edge here. So you want the fold line even with the stitch line that you did for the other side. So place pins. Now I usually place a lot of pins because I want everything to come out nice and even. Then you're going to stitch close to this fold line all the way around. You'll need a two inch wide piece of velcro and go ahead and just stitch around the edge of the velcro and put the other side of the velcro on your little flap and then if you want you can even put a decorative button. Bring front sides together of your two strap pieces so you have two per strap. 
Then at each end, take something round, a lid to a jar, whatever you got, and trace around it in each corner because we want to curve this edge so that then you would cut this off so it's going to look like this. Then on each one, you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch seam all the way around and you're going to leave an opening, oh, let's see now, about uh, five or six inches. You want it fairly wide so that it's easy to turn this front side out when you're done. So do your stitching and then turn it front side out. After you've turned it front side out, you want to press it really well and fold these edges in here at your opening a quarter of an inch and press. Then you're going to stitch the opening closed and while you're stitching it closed, you're going to stitch along all of the edges all the way around very close to the edge. Take the piping, you'll need about a 12 inch long piece per strap, center it in the strap, and then you're going to fold it over in half and stitch close to the edge here. And what you'll need is a zipper foot so that you can get up fairly close to this piping. So you want to stitch along that piping, the length of the piping, and go past it a half an inch on each end. So I'm folding this over as I go along and just stitching right up against that piping. So just fold it over, stitch a little bit, and fold it over, stitch a little bit. And when you're done, this is what it's going to look like. Place the ends of your straps about halfway down from the top. So the very end is in about the middle of this band up here at the top. Center the strap between the side and the flap here. And I recommend you stitch across here a couple of times and then around through the bottom. And do this, of course, on all of the straps. And then this is what it looks like on the back. If you are interested in doing other tote bag projects, then go to the green screen at the end of this video and click on the links. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on thumbs up and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Enter your email address, click on that little bell so you receive email notifications about my latest video. I'm Cheryl and I'm so glad you came to my sewing room. See you next time and happy sewing!